All right, everybody, I have a six gallon compressor. This is a two and a half horsepower, I'm sorry, eight gallon compressor. Notice that it's on wheels, it's got a handle. Uh, it might need some work. We actually looked at it. The thing does work, it works just fine. Now there's no oil in it right now because it does have a, a small oil leak. So you're definitely going to have to put some water, uh, some oil in there before you run it. Now we were actually going to keep this item as our store compressor. We tested it enough. The tank does pressure up. Uh, the only thing is that there is some oil leaking out of the out of the compressor motor. So that's a bad thing. Now I think if you just use this intermittently, you used it to fill up tires, maybe occasionally around your shop, the oil leak would not be a problem or maybe you know how to fix it. Harbor Freight sells this item for $109. Call and give me a bid on this item. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. All right, the next item I have for you on the table, this is a wood a moisture meter. That's right, if you buy a lot of lumber, you don't want to get cheated. You want to make sure your, your lumber's been dried properly. This is a wood moisture meter. Also on the table, I got a case for a Zune um, uh, uh, media player. This is for the Microsoft Zune. It's a hard case and it retails for $30. I've got a power block here for charging up your MP3 player when you're not, not near a computer. And actually, you know, I said you could put batteries in this thing, but it's actually, there's the little plug to plug into the wall. And then your regular USB cord plugs into that and this plugs into your MP3 player. So you don't, I know you've been out there and your batteries have gone dead and the only way you can charge it up is to plug it to a computer. Not true, this will save you. Just plug it into the wall. Or perhaps you have just a docking station on your, on your MP3 player and you don't really have a computer and you have to go. Anyway, a lot of reasons to get this item. $25 retail price. Hey, I got some baseball training balls for you. I've got the easy curve ball. That teaches you how to throw uh, trick pitches. And then I got the virtual speed baseball. This is a really cool baseball. It's got an LED display on it need to change the batteries but when you throw the ball it tells you how fast you throw the ball that's pretty cool this is fifteen dollars and this was like eight dollars we'll call that twenty five dollar retail price the next item I have for you man I tell you I was in the hardware store yesterday pricing casters Jamal did you know that some of those little casters like the three inch casters do you know how much they were at McCoy's twelve dollars a piece that's like forty eight dollars for a set of them this is another item that's going to be pricey at the store. These are 300 pound load uh, uh, tires on 4 inch wheels. They're 4 inch wheels. They do have the bearings already on them. The hubs are already there. You get a pair of them. Maybe you can make a nice cart out of that or use them as replacement wheels on your dolly. They almost look like those Bigfoot wheels, don't they? Call and give me a bid on two wheels. What would you retail these out at? About 15 bucks a piece? About $30? Oh, they were already received in. Let's go above that. I've got a one-room ceramic heater with lots of safety features, tip-over protection, manual cool-touch exterior, whisper-quiet uh, fan on it. It's a fan-forced heater, and the retail price on these are about $30. You call and tell me what you think it's worth. A ceramic heater for the winter, just in time for the winter. Hey, i got a pump for you. This is a submersible pump the one half horsepower pump these are great for those pond, those ponds you get in your driveway during the monsoon season it's got a float valve on it and a long 20 foot cord so it'll reach out there to the pump call and give me a bid that's a submersible pump now I have a clear water pump also on the table this is designed for like continuous use heavy duty use like in a uh, um, like in a swimming pool uh, filter uh, retail price on this item is 40 bucks. Also on the table, I've got a, what would we call this, a grooming goodie. I've got some life care pads here, panty liners, 26 of them. I got some eye liner. I have some lipstick and a wet and wild um, uh, eye compact. We also have some Crest uh, toothpaste. Ooh, vanilla Listerine, a pregnancy test some lady speed stick underarm deodorant and some head and shoulders and some Jergens skin lotion. Wow, that's a nice little um, grooming goodie there. I like that. Call and give me a bid on that item. And that's the 10th item on the table. Let's go to the bidder board now.